in the middle of an NFL season, people get amnesia and they can forget things that we already know to be true. Tony Romo is a better quarterback than Dak Prescott and the minute Tony Romo is healthy, he should be starting over Dak Prescott. Look, I get it. I understand it. We like Dak Prescott. He's a nice guy. He didn't go to a Kanye West concert. Yeah, he's great. Dak Prescott has four touchdowns after five games. He is on pace to throw for 13 touchdowns after 16 games. And I understand it's because they like to run the football and he has two or three rushing touchdowns. 13 passing touchdowns after an entire football season, 16 games played. That's what he's on pace for. And you want to start this guy over Tony Romo, a guy that had a 113 passer rating in 2014, was the second best quarterback that year behind one man and one man only Aaron Rodgers. You start Tony Romo because when you go to the playoffs with Dak Prescott, what are you going to have? You're going to have a rookie quarterback and a rookie running back versus guys like the Minnesota Vikings, teams like the Seattle Seahawks, and you expect Dak Prescott to defeat the Seattle Seahawks, to defeat the Minnesota Vikings because they're going to slow down Ezekiel Elliott. And when they do, you're going to need a quarterback, a veteran quarterback that can lead you to the promised land and help you contend for a Super Bowl. The Dallas Cowboys are 4-1. This is a legitimate Super Bowl team. But with Dak Prescott, they'll be lucky to get out of the first round.